My name is Melina Meza, and I'm currently calling Oakland home. I found yoga um, in Seattle the very first day I attended Bastyr University, where I went to school. I went to my first yoga class down the street from Bastyr and uh, had this incredible experience with this teacher named Kathleen Hunt. Um, and after my first yoga class, I had that feeling that I was going to do that for the rest of my life. I enjoy time outside in nature, um, and living up in Seattle, I was living close to it, uh, so now I have a slightly different relationship with it that I live in Oakland. I have to go out a little bit more to nature. I spend time out in nature to be quiet. Um, I spend time out in nature to be witnessed by the elements. Um, I spend time out in nature to take pictures a lot these days, um, which is this incredible practice for me in learning how to see light, shape, form um, in a new way. Every time I go outside in nature, I see more and more um, that I missed without the camera, whether it's the flower I'm walking by on my way to you know, my local cemetery, which is really beautiful in Oakland, or I'm actually on a trail and I'm starting to see trees that have these human-like forms and just really in awe of the similarities that we share with nature. Again, I, I really get that we're made of the same elements, of the same substance, and really get how by being out in the nature, I always come back feeling better than when I went into nature. So I feel like nature does an amazing thing with my imbalances. Um, it's almost like, you know, when you go to teach yoga class, how pretty much every single time you come out feeling better than when you went in to teach yoga, which is, I don't know that many people can say that about their work. <laughs> um, so the same is in nature for me, is that feeling of going in and um, potentially coming in with some questions that are in my mind or I feel somewhat stuck or I've been sitting too long and I go outside and I walk out and I just feel like whole and complete again. When someone's new to yoga, when I hear someone saying, I'd like to start yoga, I know one of the things that always comes to my mind is um, where is the studio that's close to where you live? Like, where's a place that's easy to get to? And maybe I'm, I'm just super practical that way, but if it's hard to get to, it's one of the big obstacles of why you might not go to yoga. So um, I'm a huge fan of finding what's close to you and then start to do a little research on the teachers to try to find the right one and to remember that there are so many different voices and teachers to share yoga that if the first class doesn't feel like a good match that you keep searching until you find what feels like a good match for you in this time of your life. And to me, one of the most important things about yoga is what we do at home. So I remember appreciating so much that I would take a class and, um, and then in the time between the next time I took a class that I would just do a little bit of that class at home, like something that I thought was interesting about that sequence, so that when I would go to yoga again, I would be um, just better aligned, like I would have a better experience, I would flow better in the class because I had done a little bit of the homework on my own. And then later I realized how valuable home practice is just for me to really get my needs met on a regular basis rather than going out to a class and expecting someone to know exactly what I need. So, you know, as someone obviously teaching yoga, it's really important for me to help me find my own language, my own imagery, my own movement patterns by doing home practice. So early on, actually, home practice was a really important part of um, my practice and my growth as a practitioner. So I always pass that on to my students that are newer to yoga to try to remember to do a little bit at home. And um, I'm sometimes so bold as to really suggest that they do A, B, or C for homework until we meet again so that they also find and uh, appreciate what it's like to just be trusting your own self through a sequence and having that wonderful relationship that we have with ourself, 
when we do yoga, um, that sometimes, some days better without someone talking to you.